Hi all, I'm Ward Anseer from the International Land Coalition and from CIRAD. We are part of these land encounters as the ILC through its grassroots organizations, but also through its national and regional platforms and its IGO members. We are strongly engaged in activities protecting land rights as part of the urgent task of mitigating the COVID crisis, aiding the immediate recovery and preventing future pandemics. Sharing these experiences through LANDAC and through these encounters is necessary to inform the broader land community what is being done and what we are doing presently, but also to discuss what can and should be done to avoid other crises in the future. It is also important to do so in order to keep land high on the policy agenda. Concern for sustainable land governance can easily be buried under the urgent and immediate priorities for recovery, with land being relegated to secondary importance. This should absolutely be avoided. Indeed, this COVID crisis is not only a sanitary crisis. It is a broader structural crisis which is questioning many aspects of our present society. Among others, it is related to our consumption patterns, it is related to our governance patterns, and very importantly, it is related to inequality, especially in the land sector. Inequality of tenure, inequality of land access, gender inequality, inequality of access to legal support, you name it. In countries where part of the population has no or insecure land rights, which is often the case for indigenous peoples, local communities, women's and gir women and girls, these people will not only be vulnerable to the crisis itself, as they won't be able to protect themselves since they don't have safe shelters, since they don't have access to water, but they will also be the first ones to be harassed and lose their land and land rights. Hence, there's a need to generally rethink our future. COVID-19 presently, but global crises and challenges overall do and will continue to affect and change our world. The risks this entails should result in opportunities to rethink sustainable and inclusive future development models, especially in the land sector. To do so, land rights are central for the recovery from COVID-19, but also as stepping stones for more resilient and sustainable territorial and inclusive socio-economic development, necessary to prevent and respond to future crises such as climate, labor and employment, migration and democracy. So let's keep land rights as a priority for short and long-term policy actions. A global land strategy seems all the more necessary to achieve this. Thank you all.